Your happiest memory? Anywhere on a beach. You know, I just think of all the vacations, mostly the most recent one being in Hawaii with my family, being in the Maldives on my honeymoon. Just any beach memory for me is, is probably my most cherished. Your dream job as a kid? Oh, I wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to be Roberta Bondar. One leader you admire and why? Oh, I'm going to go with Oprah. I love that she's been able to really make an impact in community and also be an amazing, phenomenal entrepreneur. What message does your older, wiser self have for your 21-year-old self? Don't focus on the shiny objects. Focus on your bigger goals and you can do it. How would you want to be remembered? Someone who was recognized as really truly supporting the community in, an, in a meaningful way. One thing that keeps you up at night? All the changes of COVID and just constantly thinking about the pivot recently. If you could share three lessons for your children, what would they be? Don't doubt yourself. Be confident in any ideas that you have and always be a good person. The best advice you ever received? you are more powerful than you realize. Your wildest aspiration? Definitely it involves some sort of like real estate with a European yacht somewhere in the mix. I don't know what that is. I gotta flush that out still. Your biggest fear? Not being a good role model to my kids. Your weakness or your kryptonite? My kids. Describe your morning routine. Usually, it, if I can, it involves a workout. <laughs> and most people that know me, it involves a Tim Hortons steep tea. I can make my own tea, y'all. Like, I'm very, very capable. I just, there's something about, and it's not even that it tastes that great. Honestly, it's just routine. <laughs> but I have a very, I have a very specific order. And I would say combining that with my Greek yogurt and peanut butter. Habits that have contributed to your success. Being constantly on, trying not to forget things. So being really organized and trying not to forget things like I've got like my own habits about how I mentally wrap things up in my head and put it out there on, on sort of ways that I can remember definitely working out consistently I think is a big habit for me that's allowed me to also have a stress outlet but also have determination and, and routine a behavior or habit that you think may be holding you back I worry about what others not that I worry about what others think about me but I worry about how others feel a lot your favorite holiday destination I love Hawaii. I also love Disney World. I've gone a lot as a child. I've taken my kids, fortunately, twice, and I'm hoping to take them back, um, and Mexico. The greatest challenge leaders are facing today. Yeah, I think it's a universal sort of, you know, really dealing with people, especially now, like I think it's become even more challenging with the virtual versus in-person. You know, there's a whole new way of engaging and connecting with people and, you know, really trying to focus on, you know, being as supportive to your people as well as, you know, really trying to have your people support you in your initiatives. I think that's become very, very eminent and pressing across almost every industry today. One book or podcast you'd recommend to others? There is a podcast called Allied Health Financial. It's actually a friend of mine that started it. His name is Giacomo. And I love it because it gives financial empowerment to healthcare mm. professionals. And they talk a lot about, you know, business journeys, but they really give a lot of education about financing, finance and how to invest and all the things that we just don't learn. And, you know, like, should you buy property? Should you do crypto? Should you, you know, so mm -hmm. I feel like it's a very important tool for what I say, you know, is really, really missing in healthcare. We just don't get that education. And I think it's a really cool podcast because you just learn how to kind of learn passive ways of making money outside of using your hands. So now I'm going to call it a word and you tell me what each word means to you in one sentence. Entrepreneur. Being able able to live your dreams. Mother. Being a good role model. Leadership. Supporting your people. Wisdom. Being aware of your mistakes and being aware of your weaknesses. Success. Being content with all of your milestones and accomplishments along the way. Happiness. Living a fulfilled life. Legacy. Trying your hardest. Passion. Living your hardest. Retirement. Living off your passive income. Education. Always learning. Everyone should always learn. You never know all the answers. Money. A way of allowing you to not think about the day to day. Purpose. Putting your skills and dreams together in the work that you do. If you could only share one message with the world before you left, what would that message be? Live your dreams. Should you choose to be an entrepreneur, do you, if, you, if you have a business project, if there's something that you want to do, definitely do it but don't fool yourself in what you don't know. Really, really be accepting of learning what you don't know and leave your ego aside. 
ditch your ego and learn what you need to learn to truly succeed because I think that's what really, really sets most apart from others is your ability and willingness to be humble and, and recognize that you're leading with ego versus leading with you know your purpose and your passion. And I think really getting the skills to help mesh those two.